The uh, bubonic plague is probably best known for the uh, Black Death that occurred in the late Middle Ages, around uh, between 1300 to 1400, uh, that was responsible for wiping out uh, about a third of the population of Europe at the time. Now, it's been around for longer than that, uh, but that's probably it's probably best known for that. It's a uh, zoonotonic disease, and uh, it has this bacteria known as uh, Yersinia uh, pestis, uh, better known as Y. pestis uh, bacteria. And uh, that bacteria uh, has hosts of uh, rodents and fleas. So we got a rodent here, and then we have a flea there. Now it's the black stuff inside of the flea. Now, untreated, it can uh, be fatal. Uh, one statistic I seen uh, was two-thirds of the untreated uh, patients died within four days. Uh, so this bacteria is uh, fairly deadly. Now, the word bubonic uh, is, comes from Greek, and what it means is uh, swollen. So if you think of uh, swollen glands, uh, we can have uh, swollen neck glands, or lymph nodes, uh, armpit, uh, growing area, as well as uh, other uh, problems uh, such as extremities. And uh, bacteria under a microscope looks something like that. Uh, can also uh, uh, damage the fingers and, and other extremities, as I mentioned earlier. Now, how exactly is this uh, transmitted? Well, as we just touched upon, uh, there are uh, basically two ways. You have uh, the fleas and uh, rats, and then the fleas that are on the rats. Uh, those are the main host of the bacteria. So you could have a, uh, a flea could, could bite a human and that could transmit it that way. Uh, the signs and symptoms of bubonic plague are uh, gangrene on extremities such as uh, fingers, toes, uh, arms, uh, legs, and so forth. Uh, chills. Uh, fevers greater than 102 Fahrenheit. Muscle cramps seizures, limp uh, gland swelling as we mentioned earlier, skin color changes, and uh, vomiting blood. In other words, it's a uh, very gruesome disease to have and uh, die of. Now, uh, how exactly is it uh, diagnosed? Well, uh, there's laboratory testing. Uh, and the, what they'll do is they'll examine uh, serum and uh, stick it like in the culture disk and uh, test it for the bacteria and see if it has the uh, Y uh, pestis bacteria. And if it does, uh, then you have the bubonic plague, which is not good. Which leads us to our next stage, which is uh, treatment. How exactly do we treat this? Uh, well, there's antibiotics that have been known to be somewhat effective against this. Uh, there's uh, streptomycin, there's gentamicin, and there's uh, tetracyclines. Other treatments include, uh, and probably used with antibiotics, in conjunction with antibiotics, uh, oxygen, uh, intravenous fluids, better known as uh, IV, and uh, respiratory support. And uh, that is essentially an overview of the bubonic plague. Thank you for watching.